Well, essentially, I'm looking at the policy balance between um, forest conservation and oil palm development in the Peruvian Amazon. I have predominantly worked with smallholders in, in the Amazon. I've spent about 17 months in total in, in the villages, going around on, on motorbikes and um, in little boats um, in rain and in 40 degree heat um, with all kinds of um, dangerous creatures trying to sneak into my tent at night. Um, and um, also working with policymakers at all different levels of governance um, to sort of look at how we can advance a, a, a good sustainable development for these smallholders with oil palm whilst also uh, protecting the environment. Initially, uh, when I started my work, I sort of took for granted that people would understand what research was. And I had this uh, reflexive approach to research where I would bring my results each time back to the villages, back to all the stakeholders, the government representatives, the oil palm company, and tell them what I'd found in the previous field season. Um, and the first time I did this, uh, one of the villages, the, the village leader said to me, you didn't tell us you were a conservationist. Um, and in that moment, I sort of realized that conservationist is a dirty word. Um, and that certainly was also the case with the oil palm plantation. Um, you know, they sort of feel like, well, you guys have developed and you have um, economic wealth. Why should we not? And why should we conserve our forests when you didn't conserve yours? So this was a very interesting um, uh, issue to have to overcome and help them to understand um, that actually, you know, conservation isn't necessarily a dirty word. And I absolutely understand that there are challenges and respect their challenges. Um, and so this was a very interesting dynamic as a researcher and spending time with them, gaining their trust was the only way that I could overcome this. Halfway through my research, there was a, a sort of a big uh, summit between uh, the indi an indigenous community, the oil palm company who had their conflict, and then smallholders who wanted to get involved in oil palm but were um, upset with the, the situation. They actually managed to get Congress uh, representatives of, of the Peruvian um, Congress to uh, their village, to their uh, community and villages, and uh, discuss this. And it was the first time they'd all seen me. Um, talking to each to the other groups. And at first it was like a little bit awkward, you know, at one stage going over to the owner of the oil palm company and talking to them and then going to sort of the leader of the, the most opposing village and talking to, to him. Um, and it was the first time that they actually really realized what a researcher was and that actually I did have a very sort of impartial, balanced um, approach with them all. And after that, I think they really sort of understood what I was doing and understood uh, what, what I was trying to understand. And I got a lot more very rich data uh, out, of, out of my field work. This is a, a region that, that I'm working in. It's a forest frontier, but it's um, forest farm landscape. So it's viewed by a lot of people as a degraded area because a lot of forest has been taken out. Even where there is forest, it's not the high quality virgin forest that people imagine um, the Amazon to be. But actually it is a very healthy ecosystem in many places with trees that provide um, uh, habitat for wildlife and opportunities for human recreation and livelihoods. Um, but unfortunately, because it is viewed as de degraded by so many people that make decisions, um, we often see policy f leaning towards making these degraded areas uh, into more agricultural landscape. So one of the real opportunities in this region that I see uh, is, some, is a policy shift that encourages um, reforestation on the, on the lands where oil palm is, um, is being established. So as a start, we would need to think about um, developing on um, land rights issues. Smallholders at the moment are not allowed to have title for forests. So first we would need to enable them to have titles for the forests on their farms. And then after that to have um, to incorporate into legislation that is encouraging the development of oil palm to also incorporate the, the stewardship of forests. So it's about um, having a more holistic policy approach that works for conservation of forests or, or at least the regeneration of forests uh, with the economic development through oil palm.